Hey y'all, so let's restore these wigs. I don't have $60 to buy another one, but I heard you can wash it and get it new again. You won't see me to the end because it's about the hair. Now let's start, you guys. Well, since I'm here, I might as well go ahead and do the black wig. You see she has a little frizz too, not as much as the blonde wig, which is sitting over there now. But I might as well go ahead and get this done. So let's go, baby. I got the hair section off into threes, I guess you could say. Anyway, time to get this to separate. Again, use your fingers, use the brush, use the comb, use whatever you feel is best for you to use. I'm going to use my fingers again because I think they help me a lot. And um, yeah, we'll see what pops. Lord, y'all, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It took me a long, good time to do this hair. And look, okay, so I did it with a big comb and I did it with my fingers, but it literally took me like an hour. You want to take your time. You want to make sure you get all the tangles out. Section it off really, really well. And I think I did pretty damn good, to be honest with you. So we about to like get on to this next step, honey. We need to wash this thing. She's so poofy. Let go. time to wash her up now this is gonna be gentle don't be scraping like you do your hair and that water is not screaming hot it's lukewarm so be very careful when you run in the water um i don't think it should matter because i'm gonna be boiling the other wig but and use whatever i don't know this my cousin helped me so use your choice but this is what i used Excuse me. It's like a nasty old fuck. A poop. But anyway, so yeah. So I'm about to go ahead and go in and wash this. Excuse my paper towel. Y'all ain't here for that. Y'all just here to look at what I'm doing. So you told, I, well, you remember me telling you guys don't be scraping. You know how we get our scalp and we need to be going to town. That's not what I learned to do. Or, and this is a wig. You have to be gentle. So that's why I put step two is gentle washing. And as you can see, I just slide the dirt right on down. Makeup, whatever, sweat, whatever's on here, we need to get this off. Because that buildup, I guess, is what's making this dang on wig nasty and stiff looking. She wouldn't shake at all, but that's okay. We're going to work this out together. I'm so excited. Nervous at the same time, but I'm going to figure this out because ain't nobody got all that money to be spending, honey. I'm a little nervous because this part looks real nappy and raggedy. This part looks like the curl is trying to come back. Oh, let me grab the blonde one. Yeah, it looks so bad right there. It just curls throughout here. All right, so this front is making me nervous with this back, brother. But I don't see where the stuff worked out. The um, fabric softener or the conditioner because it still look raggedy to me. So, we had to really boil these ends, honey. But it's curls up in here. So, let me go detangle both of them and we'll be back. All right. So, when I separated, it wasn't that bad. I haven't even did one brush yet. Come in. And the ends are like a hot ass mess. Hot ass mess. Hey, girl. We'll return you guys. Okay, so I finished with the brown tan one. And now I'm going to use some of this foam lotion. I'm so glad my cousin got this stuff to use. Um, I want to see. I didn't do this on the, the tan one. But I want to see if it makes it the definition more. So I'm going to come back at the I did a couple. on. We'll get it down here and get it soaked. And oh, it smells good. Yeah, we'll be back. She don't look bad if she dried up. It's look like she look a little dry, but I see the curls, you know, trying to come back. Because I want to see the difference of how it's going to come out versus the other. Um, you know, in the blonde wig, I didn't do it. And just twist, 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 twist. Let me Pull it over some for y'all. There you go. 
I just want to show y'all a little bit. I'm not showing, showing y'all. But you'll see. You get the gift. Twist it on down tight as you can, I guess. It's going to pop up regardless. And this is not what I do, so don't judge me. Make sure at the top, because this is the top, top that I put it up there. Remember I told you I'm not going to dip this in hot water. I'm not going to dip and do it like Wendy, who I'm watching right now. But I'm going to put this up there, and I'm going to let it sit for two days and let it dry. And I'm going to, after I boil it, I'm going to let the blonde wave sit for two days as well. So, but I just wanted to let y'all see what I was doing, how I was twisting and what I put at the top. Again, I have never in my damn life done this. My baby cousin told me what to do. <laughs> I like a hot mess. So we're gonna see how it works. Yeah. And that's about it. And this one back here, I'm gonna redo because it's too big. And you can see that it's too fat. So I'm gonna redo that. Don't um, you know, don't rush. Take your time and make sure they're not all big. You want it to adapt. You want it to this mousse to take to shape and form it my girls out you guys so this is the black wig and there is a difference i mean it's the same exact wig but i did it different for when i do it again i want to see which one's going to work best this one i put foam and gel on and i will not be dipping it low in the hot water this is just going to set out on a mannequin head for two days and i'm gonna let it dry that way this on the other hand did the two strand twist but this is going to go on boiling water so i'm about to go put this baby and i gotta get my cousin to sew these back down i'm gonna get um yeah zane i need you to help me on that so i'm gonna put this um and some hot water will come back probably gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and then this is just gonna sit for 10 well for two days as well like her blonde sister honey so let's go hey you guys happy 420 <laughs> yes today is 420 so what's up smokers i hope y'all having a fun great day and if you don't it's all good too. So today you can see I have Becky and Shaquanza with me. If you've seen these wigs before, I don't know if I'm gonna put the picture over here or right above her head, like my big ass forehead. Um, I had to wash these things. And today is like two and a half days later because I didn't need the hair. So I wanted the hair to really sit and lock. Um, I started to take some of the hair off already. As you can see, I already um, took it out. I did two strand twists, I think they're called. I sure hope that's what it's called. I did these just twist it instead of braiding it and then when I took it out and I left boring so I could do it after I took the strand out I then went to each one individually and then I um broke it down see how nice that looks and you guys oh, this damn hair smells so good make sure you use the fabric softener and maybe just for the smell because the ends still were a hot mess but oh my god this hair smells so yummy so, I'm going to put this one here and grab Shaquanza. Look at Shaquanza up there. You're going to be next, honey. And see, I still got to take it. This is how the black one looked. Like this. So. All right, do I have my thing on? I don't really do baby hair, but I put the gel down on there. So, if I, um, you know, the edges. All right, are you going to do a straight part? What you going to do today, girl? Okay, I guess I'm going to do my straight part. So, already we can see it's not as poofy as it was. Thank you, God. Let me go ahead and start taking these out. Start at the bottom. Don't be lazy because you don't want to go ahead and undo everything you did. And if you're just joining the video, all I did was I washed it and I didn't even like really like, you know how we wash our hair and we scrape our hair? I didn't do that. I just merely pushed it in the water and the debris and the makeup, all that crap came. Let me go ahead and do this right now. The debris and all the makeup came right off, you guys. And when I got to that part with the fabric softener, because again, remember, I haven't done this. I just looked it up on YouTube video. That's all I did. And so I'm not no expert at this, but I knew my dang on hair, because this hair was $60 at the um, beauty supply store. So, which I know now I can get cheaper online. But um, I don't have money like that. And I went on a cruise last month and 
my job was eliminated. So I don't have another $60 to go buy a wig. So if you need to like save money, this is the way. Get your tail in there, wash the hair, and then either put it under the dryer or go ahead and um, let it air dry. And I still can figure this out more. Okay. So I do have some little shine stuff that my cousin told me to use, Zayna. I tried to get her to come in here and help me, but you know how them teenagers is. Well, she's a young adult. She's a teenager. Shout out to her for graduating college and having two jobs. But she makes wigs. So anyway, I need to figure out now. Because I don't want to put too much oil. It looks so good. Look how the definition of my curls have come back, you guys. OMG. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> do what I told you. <laughs> now what I just did. And pull it on out. I'm going to take my ring off. I'm watching 25. Def Jam Comedy 25 special. All right, I want to do two, two merch. Let me, okay, put my clip though. Oh, this smells good too. Let me clip the back. I never, I have got to be, but I just like never use it. Now, the more you touch it, the more wrinkly it's going to get. Not wrinkly, but more stringy it's going to get. You don't want it to get strictly yet because you haven't worn it. So I'm not going to finger it too much, but you get the gist. And I will say that I, um, this hair looks good. The nape of the back of this hair was a hot ass mesh all. Let me see, can y'all see? Yeah, yes, yes. So what I'll do, since I have on air, well, I'm still up here. I'm gonna go ahead and start unraveling the other wig. Um, and I'm gonna get my cousin to help me with this because let me see. Woo. Anyway, so I'm gonna start unraveling and do all sizes. I did do the brown <sighs> on this one. Let me get my red cup, which I know that's a little cup. I drop water and showing rolls. Oh, okay. So let me tell y'all too, real quick. I the black one, I think I boiled, and this one I let just sit out. Either one of them, because I did two different ones. Um, I put mousse, yeah, foam and spray on one of them, which I think I put foam and spray on this. And then this one, I let set in the heat. Well, I, um, what did I do? Oh, boiling water, foam. Boiling water, foam. Or if it ain't this wig, it's this wig. Because I wanted to see which one will work better. So, again... This was foam. This was dipped in hot water. See how that one it ain't as curly as this one? It is the nape. So I'm going to go ahead and rock with it. But I like how that, that's cute. Yes, let me go ahead and finish it because I just finished watching Beyonce. And she got a lot of hair too. But um, I want to get my hair done and I'm going to be looking like Beyonce. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice here. It was cold as hell. Well, Hell ain't cold. It was cold in Georgia today. I'm in Atlanta. And it is so cold. But tomorrow, we're going to have an East Egg Hunt. It's supposed to be 70 and sunny. So I'm excited about that. Look at this right here. Don't pull too much, sisters. And then go in. So, yeah, I'll come back um, once I finish doing this. This one? I think I'm liking the foam better, you guys. A lot of I do feel like this is a lot of hair. This ain't about that. It's about the washing it, but I do feel like this can be a lot of hair. I ain't thinking about you. I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. Nope, nigga, no. But yeah, all right now, TT. You can save you some money, girl, now. If you can get the dent out of your car with the plunger, that's what we can work on next. All right, we'll be back with Shaquanza.
All right, you guys, that is it for the black wig. This is a Janet collection wig. I don't know what else it's called, but if you want to know, just ask and I'll look it up. Make sure to stay tuned because the blonde wig is coming up and behind the scenes. Hashtag Shatima R.